Hey everybody, today we are at Cabinet Concepts. We're selecting finishes for the transitional Nantucket. Um, this is really the last stage of the cabinet design process. Um, we usually hold off on it as long as we possibly can as paint is tintable and fabrics and tile are not. So Shelly is ready for us and I look forward to it. Well, let's start in the kitchen. Okay, you good with that? I'm good with that. We, we are down to finish okay. selection. So we're picking all the paint colors, the exact colors, the finish on them as shiny as it's gonna be, matte, all of that. What is the stain gonna look like? And then what Shelly's team does is provide us with some really incredible finishing samples. But this is an example of a 10 by 10 the customer would receive for a paint color. So we keep one, the client gets one. So when Erica's doing selections of other stuff, she has it. And then, you know, We've gotten into a trap before where um, clients or different people have just picked things um, online and you get a poor result that way. So Shelly's professional, awesome. She's got magic. Magic. <laughs> we have more colors, but these are the big ones we have just right now, but we can bring more is in. Is this tricorn? That is either inkwell or... Tile is not tintable. We pick paint the very last thing in any project. So people are like, what paint colors should we pick? And I'm like, we don't pick that until the end because paint is tintable and other products are not. So mm -hmm. we pick the hard surfaces first and paint comes until Shelly says, we have to have this by tomorrow. Then I come in and pick it. That's perfect. It's warm. It's not cool. It's not too blue and it's not too gray. I love it. Okay. So what about your white? I don't know. Okay, let's go to the whites. So when nice. we're designing a home, so Shelly's done the bones and I've started getting and fleshing out all the fabrics and things. Um, what's really great is now we can put a little flavor into each room. We like to take um, the different colors and different textures and, and carry that through the whole home instead of each room looking like a different room out of Timbuktu that really stinks and it just looks disjointed and uncomfortable. So our job is to take all these same colors and tones and mix them up throughout the house so it just flows and it seems and it feels really good. So that's what's really cool is we've got all that in. Now mm -hmm. we just... Yep, picked our color here. Yeah. So one of the cool things in this um, mudroom that you designed was that we have this nice, beautiful butcher block bench top. Oh no. So, what color do you want that? So this is a, technically, this is a a, it's not true traditional Nantucket. Nantucket is kind of a northeast, coastal, bright, fresh, um, pulls a lot of ocean colors in, I would say. And then we're calling it transitional. So. Um, Transitional means we're taking traditional elements and we're adding new life to it. So it's in transition to traditional. So if you can tell, this rainwash color is kind of minty. It's got a little bit light. All of these colors are light and fresh. We are adding some dimension. So many homeowners just do all this light gray and, and they don't get any dimension in their home and, and then their home just kind of dies. So brightness doesn't equal light colors. Brightness equals contrast. So that's why we're adding some dark tones in this room is actually going to be this really insane um, tile that is black and white and crisscrossed and it's really cool so it's going to make this pop i'm deciding and with shelly's expertise because i can't make all these decisions <laughs> um we could do this because it's warm and friendly it has a little mm -hmm. bit of the dark in it or i'm good with this is okay. there one or the other that you would recommend oh god cabinetry is a huge driver it manages the way that we function the way that we live um, the parts and pieces that Shelly has available to her to organize things, the organizing processes, um, as far as the style as well. And so many people, I'll start a project after Shelly's already met with them. And while Shelly does a phenomenal job of walking them through the project, a lot of times they're just all of a sudden bewildered and lost because they had no idea that cabinets really impact the rest mm -hmm. of the design. And if you don't think things through all the way through, um, it's it's not that it will ruin your project. It's just you missed having a huge, much larger impact on the project. So my next step after these finishes have been selected is we're actually going to submit all these, get all the paint colors in. Once we have those in, we're going to do 10 by 10 samples, kind of like we spoke about here. Two of each one. I'm going to give um, Erica a stack of samples that she's going to have for her records. We're going to keep a stack. She'll sign off on them if she approves the colors, if she really loves them, the homeowner loves them. And once those are approved, we're pretty much done with this process as far as the design goes. What will happen now is the project will go down to our engineering department and our engineer will get everything ready to go out to the shop. What's left for us after we pick all these finishes on the design end is um, just 
watching the project go through. My job is just to babysit essentially, which Rick's guys really don't need babysitting, but it's nice to make sure that we don't make any mistakes, to just watch the project all the way through, make sure that everything that we've dictated is correct. 